What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, this is brand new. This is called Handy Linux. That's right, Handy Linux, powered by Debian. Now, this is a uh, French distribution, I believe, Viva La France. So the question is, is this really handy or is it a slap in the face? Well, you know what? Let's skip my ultra cool intro and let's get right to this because this I'm curious about because it does say for absolute beginners, left click on the link beginner to access applications. Okay, I think you get the picture on this to shut down and reboot the computer. Well, so far it's definitely for beginners. It says beginner click here. Okay, let's see what happens. And okay, there we go. Now I'm running this inside a virtual machine, so it's going to be a little slow. That's certainly to be expected. And we have cartoons. Oh, I feel welcomed already. Let's see, what do we, what do we have here? Handy links documentation. Let's get on the frightening train, starting with this. Computer people and everyday people don't speak the same language, so what to do? Simply just read Handy Linux Simplified. The computer, how does it work? Okay, well, this is a brief documentation, introduction, tutorial on how to use Handy Linux. You know what? This is okay. If you are brand new to Linux, I can certainly understand where this could come in handy. Okay, this is what? Is this the Chromium? Web browser? I guess it is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's right click there and get out of that. Um, let's see what else we have here let's get out of this I think we kinda get this quick tutorial this is the main uh, screen here again just in the virtual box no installation we'll just take a quick look and see if it really is for beginners alright simple enough power down this is uh, streaming radio radio uh, tray that's a nice one uh, let's see what's this wired connection volume control alright is this um, 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 XFCE can't I don't remember all right, what's this? No device found. Question documentation. Okay, so far so good. Time and date. All right. Do I click? Can I right click? Okay. Add new items. Yeah, I think this is somewhat based on the XFCE GUI, if I'm not mistaken. All right, moving along. Of course, you can right click on the screen. And you have different wallpaper all right so far so good let's go to the start button the start menu right here to the left left click the handy Linux main menu well, this is certainly different let's see internet files multimedia hmm office games Raiders okay I was thinking of Raiders of the Lost I wonder why they call this Raiders. Well, let's take a look at the Software Center. If I was a beginner, I may want to take a look at that. What kind of software can I get? Okay, apparently it's based somewhat off the Ubuntu Software Center. Okay, fair enough, that's cool. Let's get out of that. I still don't know why it's called Raiders, but okay. Um, can this be customized by right clicking? Again, I have not installed this. All right, so it's again, it's based off the XFCE launcher and all that. Okay. Well, this is certainly is a different type of main menu, but for beginners, I suppose, yep, it should not be that difficult to navigate through and preferences, theme, banners. Okay, all right. Quit. Hmm, interesting. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Windows 8 without the live tile function. Um, anyway, something like that. But so far, so good. As far as for beginners go, I would say, yeah, this, this is certainly easy. What about how to install this? Um, uh, we may have to, I think I saw something on boot. Yeah, let's get a reboot. As far as for absolute beginners so far, uh, I would say this certainly looks different. Easy enough. Let's go ahead and restart. And uh, let's see what we have here. 
Okay. <coughs> All right, restart. All right, let's go to boot off that download again. Go there and handy Linux and reset. Reset. Okay. There we go. Install Handy Linux on your computer. Again, this is for absolute beginners. So hopefully, the installer should be pretty easy. If it's for absolute beginners. Um, English, okay. Uh, United States, sure. American English. Loading additional components. Zipping along in a V-Box, very good. Okay, detecting hardware, sure we'll call this Debian, well let's see, we'll just call this test, continue, test is fine, password, we'll just do zero, and zero, continue, eastern is fine, so far so good, configuring the clock, detect disks, partitioning. Sure, we can use the entire disk. Okay. Finish partitioning and write to disk. Sure, why not? If you continue the changes below, we're going to this. Otherwise, you'll be able to make further changes manually. Should the following partitions are going to be formatted. We have an extension for and swap. All right, sure, why not? Well, so far there is no manual partitioning for absolute beginner. So, you know what, guys? Uh, this looks kind of cool because it's different. Uh, I'm not sure if it's something I would use on a daily basis, but for absolute beginners, is this for absolute beginners for um, people coming from Windows, or is Handy Linux a slap in the face? Well, so far, without doing a complete test, I would say this actually looks kind of cool for the simple fact that it is different. Now. It is, is it stable? Is everything going to work? I don't know, but I like what I see so far. Uh, if you decide to try this, let me know. But definitely check it out if you are a beginner or not. Uh, you might find this to your liking. Well, that's it for this quick look at Handy Linux. Kind of cool. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.